Grace Beyond Borders is an organization that was birthed during uh, the pandemic as a response to people in need. So we uh, focus on helping people. Like a lot of people find themselves not only um, affected by coronavirus, but now they see themselves facing a hunger pandemic. There were a lot of foreign nationals, um, mostly asylum seekers, reaching out to say that they couldn't access um, government's COVID-19 relief programs. Um, that's in the form of uh, food parcels, as well as the social grant system and so forth. So I thought, what can we do to help these people? And um, reached out to a few organizations who came to the forefront and said, Grace will help. I didn't think it would be this massive. You know, I was only trying to help about 40 people from the church, but um, yeah, things grew and the, the aid has just been pouring in. The coronavirus has called upon all nations and its people to stand as one. The time for the world to unite is now. Afrophobia is a big concern in South Africa and it's just a pity that we now have black on black violence when black people, whether South African or non-South African living in South Africa, are at the bottom uh, in South Africa. The economy doesn't work in our favour. So, um, this is a bigger problem that the government needs to address to see how we can redistribute wealth in South Africa. I mean, black people in South Africa are the biggest part of the population but earn the least. So uh, that's a big problem that the government needs to address. Today we're going to be giving away 50 food parcels from Zimbabweans to Congolese to Nigerian people here. Uh, so basically what we do is we identify an area that we want to reach. We help get someone to help us in uh, creating that list and then we look at the funds that we have at that time to uh, see how we're going to uh, create our food parcel. So people are here now, they're lining up and then we'll be giving away the food parcels. This initiative is important for me because it's close to home. I'm a foreign national and I have family members and friends and people in my community and my church who are asylum seekers who were affected by the lockdown regulations, who haven't been able to earn a living um, ever since the lockdown was, was announced in March. So when you have people around you who are starving, you know, you, you, you feel it, you, you're affected and you want to do something to help. I think that government just needs to admit that it can't do everything, reach out to organizations. There are organizations that take care of foreign nationals, that have a database of people who, who are here, you know, who can assist. But at the end of the day, whether people are here legal or illegally or with asylum seeker status or not, there's a pandemic, it's a state of disaster. So those, you know, things must be activated to assist everyone. So our July focus was focusing on foreign nationals living with disabilities, uh, helping them out. And in July so far, we've reached about 50 families where one of the individuals uh, lives with a disability. People le leave their country, their home country, to come to South Africa to make a better life for themselves. I just hope through the efforts that we have with different programs that we plan to um, launch that it can help people and they do, uh, they are able in fact to better their lives. If each and every person realises that in their community there's people who need help and that they can help, then I think that our job would have been done.